So now let's just look at how we can use the data which we have created inside the Google Sheet in Data Studio, the, pa the product from Google. Data Studio. Okay, this is the link. So in Data Studio, when, whenever you are going to work with it, uh, we need to understand that there are three things which you can see in this tab. One is our reports, which we create. You now all these visuals which you see are reports which we can create. But before we create the reports, we need to um, define a data source because without the data source, how do we create reports? So we go into our data source. There are a lot of ways we can pull data in Data Studio. So if you uh, create um, create button, data source, you'll see a lot of drivers. So we can pull data from Google Analytics, ads, sheets, and whatnot. Even you can use MySQL, right? MySQL you can use to connect. But as I told you, you know, I was not able to set up SSL connectivity and hence I used the Google Sheet method. And so why don't we use that? So we will use Google Sheets. It will ask you to authorize. Just, just go ahead and do that. Okay, once done, it will show you a list of all the sheets which you have in your in a Google Drive. You know, the ones which are owned by me, which are shared with me and all and whatnot. And we are actually interested in the data studio tutorial sheet which we just created okay it detected that it has only one sheet use first row as headers that's fine because we have already done that include hidden and filtered cells that's fine you know we haven't done it but if you want you can use that so now i do connect why don't we name this as google sheet um, data studio tutorial sheet okay so that's done now you can see it detected quite a few things it understood that id is a number project time is number time is a number is that so yes okay fine it's our um it's an hours, so that's fine. Okay, then username is text, record count, it automatically created. So let's look at the explore and see if we are able to get basic things in place, then we will look at how we can create a report. Okay. Let it sync. So it gave me the username and it is giving the record count. If we change that to let's just say the number of hours, hours time, right? Then we will see we have this. So, group by Amitav Roy, we should see 12,800. I have this group by, if I'm not wrong, yes, I do. 12,800. So, you can see we have the data in place. Now we can do a lot of things. For example, I can set up a date range and see within that date range how many entries are there. So let's just say if I look between, okay, let's do three to seven. Do I have anything in here? Yes, we do. So yeah, I think this is how we can create reports. So what I can see from my explorer is that I'm getting basic data in place and this is working. So why don't we now uh, we don't want to save this explore. We create a blank sheet, a blank report rather. And I can select my data source, which I've just created, which is this data studio tutorial sheet. Okay. Add to report. So I have this. I think now the possibilities are endless. You can design your report as you want. Let's do this. You know, certain basic things which I already know, you can change the labels, user. 
instead of record count let's just say i want the time okay it's it's a sum so that's fine it's a sum of the entire time so time spent is here we can create a graph let's just say um let me add a graph of a pie chart which shows me not the date that doesn't make sense uh, range dimension it's not username let's just say we want to see by project okay so project and this is time so what, what do we have okay um, so it is showing me how much time was spent and you can see it's very evenly distributed because i you know i, I ran a cedar um in real life i think this will be very different um one more thing which you can do is let's just say i can say in interactions it applies filter okay and for this as well i'll say it applies filter and um, although there are a lot of things i think the so some of the basic ones which i want to showcase is first of all a date range okay we will add a date range let's say the default date range is going to be last seven days apply it okay and we give the user an ability to filter by the project yes that's correct and let's copy this and create one more by user okay so now if i view so i want to see how much entries we have for myself okay i have spent most of the time on jay's album right now let me, if i increase the time range maybe or let's see just and how many how much i have done within the last two days i can set the date range okay, i have 413 okay the data is obviously a little weird but you know you get the idea right so yeah that that's how basically we can create some kinds of reports and see you know uh, what we have done here is right from in kind of syncing the data from our database into a google sheet to reading that data uh, from google sheet into data studio and creating you know, all kinds of reports what we want so yeah that's what we have achieved and i'll show you a few uh, interesting examples um, which i can create from this particular data set which i have shown you in the introduction as well so as i told you i mean finally this is what i got i have a few you know summary indicators which says you know what's the total time um and bar graph showing you know different kinds of uh, dates and um, what projects we have worked on for example if i click on james as i i had shown you i think this entire graph changes or so on 8th james has 224 then it's 265 all those things so so i think the, uh, the basic idea is the data is not very important it's um, because you can generate the data um, you you need the data but how how the communication is done is kind of sorted out we you know we went through the entire process of from database to google sheets and then pulling that into our google data studio so that's about it guys that's uh, the entire series of videos where we start from the clean laravel project to you know picking sorry creating reports in uh, google data studio if you like the series do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel